One, the mind doesn't work like a blank slate waiting to be written on. It comes preloaded with structure. Two, the theory of evolution doesn't explain everything about the mind. It tells us about its biological origins, not its cognitive structure. Three, mental states are not reducible to brain states. They have their own irreducible properties. For the mind is not just a passive receiver of sensory input. It actively interprets and organizes the information it receives. Five, the idea that all mental processes can be explained in terms of computation is overly simplistic. Six, cognitive science needs to take seriously the role of innate knowledge in human cognition. Seven, mental representations are not mere internal pictures. They carry meaning and have semantic properties. Eight, meaning is not just in the head hit. Involves a relationship between the mind and the world. Nine, the mind is not a tabula rasa hit has built-in conceptual frameworks and categories. 10. The idea that all mental processes can be reduced to neural activity is a form of neurochauvinism. 11. There is no single language of thought. Cognition involves multiple representational formats. 12. Mental processes cannot be fully understood in isolation from the social and cultural context. 13. Consciousness is not a mysterious phenomenon. It can be explained in terms of computational processes. 14. The mind is not a general purpose problem solver. It has domain specific cognitive modules. 15. Intentionality, or aboutness, is a fundamental property of mental states. 16. The mind is not a passive mirror of the world. It actively constructs our experience. 17. Cognitive science needs to go beyond behavior and examine the underlying mechanisms of cognition. 18. The mind is not a blank slate, but it is also not completely determined by genetics. There is room for learning and development. 19. The modularity of mind is a key feature of human cognition. 20. The mind is not a computer. It has properties that go beyond computational processes. 21. Mental processes involve more than just the manipulation of symbols. They require semantic interpretation. 22. Cognitive science needs to incorporate insights from developmental psychology and evolutionary biology. 23. The mind is not reducible to a collection of independent modules. There is interaction and integration between them. 24. Language is not just a tool for communication. It shapes and structures our thinking. 25. Mental representation is not a passive reflection of the world. It involves active interpretation and instruction. 26. The computational model of the mind is a useful metaphor, but it shouldn't be taken literally. 27. Perception is not just a matter of Passive reception of sensory input, 
It involves active processing. 28. Mental processes are not purely internal. They are shaped by our interactions with the external world. 29. The mind is not a homogeneous entity. It has different levels of processing and organization. 30. Concepts are not arbitrary symbols. They are grounded in our perceptual and motor experience. 31. Mental processes involve both bottom-up and top-down influences. 32. The mind is not a blank canvas waiting to be filled. It has its own structure and organization. 33. Cognitive science needs to take into account individual differences in cognitive abilities and styles. 34. Reasoning is not just a matter of logical deduction. It involves heuristics and biases. 35. The mind is not a passive observer of the world. It actively constructs our reality. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.